Hello and welcome. In the previous lecture, we have seen the aspect of information security. We have also seen the classification of your security attack. Security attack, as we are knowing, that we can classify it into two groups. That is your passive attack and active attack. Now. Well, uh, if we are seeing this passive attack, in passive attack we are having first one is a release of message content and second one is traffic analysis. What is this? Your release of message content. If the message is transmitted from sender to receiver in between the hacker will just see the content of information and he will just pass it on to the receiver. So here the hacker is just interested in knowing the content. So this is your example of release of message content. Second one is your traffic analysis. The message is transmitted from sender to receiver and receiver to sender and hacker is there at the outside. By seeing that how many times the information is transmitted between sender and receiver, the hacker tries to identify that what can be the information. Here the hacker gets the information and in that way we try to do the analysis and identify what is the information. Let us see one example related to that. In passive attack, first we have seen the release of message content. So if any notice or circular, if it is sent from the say head of the institution to say head of the department regarding say something about the fees collection of the students or something like that and a student let us assume that the student is the hacker so when the circular is transmitted from the principal and as it is going to the head of the department, in between the student, he will just read the circular and he will just do the necessary changes as per his side. Means, as the circular is moving from the principal to the head of the department, before reaching to head of the department, the student is knowing the content of the circular. Example of your traffic analysis. Suppose if some information is transmitted from principal to account section and again from account section to principal, principal to account section, if, if the information is moving two or three times and hacker is sitting outside, he can guess that what the information may be. The information may be something related to financial. It may be related to or the, student, the hacker can guess that here the, uh, the information that is transmitted from the principal to the account section is uh, may be related with the collection of fees or the fees due with the students. So these are some of the example of passive attack. Now let us see the active attack. If we are going for the active, active attack, we are having the first one is masquerade, second one is replay, third one is modification of data and finally denial of service. So all these different type of active attack we will understand with example. What is this masquerade? Masquerade here, the hacker sent the information to the receiver 
pretending as if he is the sender, but hacker is not the sender. One example I can say that suppose one student is sending some SMS to head of the department stating something that tomorrow is holiday and he will write at the end by the director. Means in the masses he is pretending as if he is the director and he is giving the information to the head of the department that tomorrow is holiday. So whatever this activity done by the student, he is the masquerade. This type of attack is called the masquerade. Second one is your replay. What is this replay? In the replay, see what is happening that the information is transmitted from the sender and before reaching to the receiver, so much time delay is being done by the hacker so that its effect will be of no use. The information it is of no use. Suppose some circular is sent by the principal to the head of the department that tomorrow is holiday. The circular if it reaches one day after means if the in the circular if it is stated that the Tuesday is holiday and if the head of the department is getting that circular on Wednesday then there is no use of that circular. So here what is happening? This is one type of attack. This is the example of your replay attack. This is an active attack. Third one is modification of data. Modification of data means uh, here the circular is sent from the director to the head of the department stating that all those students who are fee defaulter, they should not allow to write their mid-exam. Here what the hacker will do, hacker will do the modification in the information. In that he will say, he will change it and he will state that all those students who are having the fees at you, they are allowed to write the mid exam. So here what is happening, there is modification of information. Earlier the sender wants that those who are having the fees at you, they are not allowed. But what the hacker has done, hacker has done the modification and in that he the receiver comes to know that those who are having the fees due, they are allowed. Okay, so here this type of attack is called modification of data. And finally, really you are having that denial of service. If the sender wants to communicate with the receiver and in between the channel, somebody is making a search that there should not be the communication between the uh, between the sender and the receiver that is the denial of service for example if the student wants to uh, suppose here if the student wants to talk to director and before reaching to director if the some mediator like the receptionist is telling that no, today is uh, today director is not there. So that is one example of denial of service. Thank you.